Nicobar Hill, a place that shelters some of the most important political people in the state. A place whose history dates back to the 12th century according to modern history and even to the Ramayana era according to the Hindu legends. A place which is also a home to some of the richest and most affluent people in the country but at the same time has one of the worst voter turnout across the country during Lok Sabha elections and across the state during the state assembly elections. It's quite a dichotomy, right? Let us then try and talk to people here to understand a little more about this dichotomy, about the culture of Malabar Hill and about the unique way of living that people have here in Malabar Hill. सबसे बेस्ट सिक्योरिटी हाँ यहाँ पर लोग सुरक्षित हैं और किसी को कोई चीज़ का टेंशन नहीं है कोई डर नहीं है खुल के लोग धंधे करते हैं प्रशासन अच्छा है इधर लोगों को इतना मगजमारी का टेंशन नहीं होता इसलिए बराबर है एज अ एज अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ दिस प्लेस एज अ नागरिक ऑफ दिस प्लेस आपको क्या लगता है कि पूरे इस पूरे जगह में कौन से इश्यूज है जो कि काफी इम्पोर्टेंट रहेंगे जिसके बारे में लोग सोचेंगे मतदान करने से पहले नहीं नहीं इश्यूज ऐसे हैं कि इसे इसे पर्यटक स्थल बनाया गया है माना है यहाँ पे सुलभ सोचा ले कि व्यवस्था नहीं है सबसे बड़ा मत वो यही है बाहर से लोग आते हैं कि उनके उनको उनकी सुव When you talk about Malabar Hill, one thing that stands out the most is the uniqueness of the name, Malabar Hill. Why is this region here in Mumbai, Maharashtra named after a small part in Northern Kerala? Well, there are two theories to it. Theory number one states that there lived a family here, a Kea family, full of traders and merchants who owned a large amount of land here in this particular region. Of course, that land was eventually transferred to the British East India Company, but because of their influence, this place was named after their place of origin, that is Malabar. Theory number two is my personal favorite. It is believed that this place has witnessed a lot of attacks from pirates who originally came from Malabar and hence this place became Malabar Hill. In the 2019 state assembly elections, this posh South Mumbai neighborhood recorded the lowest voting turnout here in Maharashtra. Kolaba was the worst with its 40% voting turnout, while Malabar Hill wasn't too far away with its 47% turnout. Now, the situation has become so embarrassing that the chief election commissioner, while taking a press conference a few days ago, categorically named these places and talked about how it is important for us to work to increase the vo voting turnout in these places. The BMC is also trying to put in special efforts just so that more number of people turn out to the polling booths during election dates. But why is the situation so? Why do people from Malabar Hill do not turn up while the voting is happening across the state? Let us try and find out from the people themselves. Which thing should be more work in your opinion? This is the main thing, sir. This is a road, the Suvida. अने यहाँ अभी बसेस का बहुत प्रॉब्लम है। वो लोग समझते हैं सबके पास कार है, लेकिन बसेस कम कर दी है, सब कट भी की है, और बसेस को बोलते हैं गिराक नहीं है, मगर आप देखो बस में कितनी गर्दी रहती है। रोड की सुविधा बराबर होना चाहिए रोड। अभी जितने भी मेन होल है बीच में, वो उसके ऊपर से स्कूटर का स्कूटर के ऊपर एक्सीडेंट होने का चांसेस है, वो खड्डे हो गए हैं, उसके लिए कोई देखते नहीं है। Any voters to get the vote, they have to prove themselves. Okay, and I think the best example I can think about is. We can adopt a lot of wonderful things from Ratan Tata's legacy that you don't have to speak, let your work speak, okay? So instead of begging the vote, if you prove yourself, do something good for this constitution, uh, constituency, so that people will automatically feel like giving you the vote or they will spend some time 
for the uh, society, etc., like that. Mumbai has played a very important role in the freedom struggle of India. A lot of important movements have also started from this city. Mahatma Gandhi specifically had a special liking for this city. We are standing outside Mani Bhavan and this used to be Mahatma Gandhi's residence here in Mumbai from 1917 till 1934. It belonged to his friend, Mr. Zaviri, but then he spent a lot of his formative years in this particular house and has planned a lot of movements from here. Let us then go inside and see what does this house have today? Mani Bhavan is a simple two-story building majorly with Indian architecture. It has a sense of calm to it, much like the man it used to host. And at the same time, we can see that this building could have very easily been kept the way it was, but now it has been transformed into a book library, into a photo gallery and a beautiful museum. You can learn everything about Mahatma Gandhi from A to Z by visiting Mani just once. आपके हिसाब से गांधी जी के लिए मनी भवन का इम्पोर्टेंस क्या था उनका नाता क्या था मनी भवन के साथ या अब देखिए महात्मा गांधी जब यहाँ आए 1915 में तो अपने मेंटोर गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले जी से मिले वो उन्होंने कहा कि अब मुझे भारत की सेवा करनी है यहाँ के लोगों की सेवा करनी है पहले तो साउथ अफ्रीका में थे तो उन्होंने कहा गो गोखले साहब ने कि आप जिनकी सेवा करना चाहते हैं वो लोगों की क्या कंडीशन है वो कैसे रहते हैं उनकी क्या स्थिति है वो आप पहले जान लेना 1917 to 1934, he stayed over here. He was staying here as a guest of Mr. Reva Shankar Javeri. He was very close to him, his close friend, you can say, and follower also, you can say. So one more thing I will tell you: changing his dress code took place during that period, between 17 and 34. At first, when he came here, he was like that Gujarati or Rajasthani pagdi, yeah. and uh, that coat, etc., etc. Then you can see that half shirt, etc., and Gandhi topi, which is still in existence. Mm -hmm. And afterward, as a half naked figure, Churchill used to say, him. and from here he gave the message of. peace law and non violence to the world for all those people who do not live here in malabar hill or girgaon chopati it is very common for them to think that people here live a overly comfortable life and that probably is the truth for a lot of people but that doesn't mean that this entire region is free from all the problems i mean people here do face problems of cleanliness of traffic issues and at times of good governance too it is important to know if these issues will be highlighted after or even before the 2024 state assembly elections or will they add up to the list of all those unsolved problems of the people that only people keep talking about but not legislators with camera person hemant and mahesh this is anuj rai the reporting for ndtv from mumbai